And this time it's gonna be in the bottom left hand side, the Frenchman. It's gonna be Fanka against the other Frenchman here. Both working at O Gaming. It's gonna be Yogo. And Yogo should be a pretty heavy favorite favorite going into this match. Again, having been I think he was Grandmaster probably, I don't know, 25 seasons in a row, maybe even more. Like, it's just insane the amount of times that this guy's been Grandmaster. He had a child recently, though, and I think he wasn't able to practice as much as he used to. As he used to. So, yeah. definitely something that could play a role as well. During the last Caster's Invitational, actually, that was Artosis, who had had twins recently. That mm. took part in it and also had a difficult time practicing. Yeah, Yurgo probably was GM before I was even playing StarCraft. <laughs> it feels like so. it's every season he's there, you know, like he's like yeah. a regular of Grandmaster. Like he, he, when you see that, that Yurgo is in Grandmaster League, you're like, yeah, no, everything is well in the world. This is the way things are meant to be. Yeah, but as you said, currently, maybe not the most time. And the level is constantly rising, so. Do you actually know if he's Grandmaster this season too? I think he must have been, yeah. But uh, he told me that he had a hard time though around the around the time that he started staying up late at night because of his kids. He definitely yeah. started dropping quite a bit of MMR, so. Yeah, but that's a good excuse at least. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But uh, remember, losers make excuses, winners make it happen. That's true. And, and let me tell you, I make a lot of excuses, so. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think that's true though? Like uh, when you go to tournaments, sometimes, like there's always stuff that you could complain about, right? Like table height, chair lights, schedule, yeah. anything really. For, but then, for me, it's for me, it's always the temperature. Yeah. If the temperature is too low, like I just can't play. And too I, low. Yeah. Not, not too, too high. <laughs> no, too high. I don't care about. Really? Yeah. Well, yeah I guess I, we're quite different. But like, don't you feel like there is a couple? players that just they seem to be unfazed by everything like you could literally give them like a supermarket keyboard on a camping chair in a room that's like a sauna and they would still find a way to play amazingly well and win yeah maybe a, maybe a couple but i feel like it's very rare nowadays everyone yeah. has like his, his own specific keyboard i need my repeat rate you know i uh i can't like give me a 60 hertz monitor and i go straight to diamond league uh, you play on 144 it's... hertz? Yeah, at least. I mean, every tournament has it nowadays. So. Yeah. You know, the problem with that is that I think like tournaments, they don't really mind giving 144 hertz, but then it's so much harder to do first person if they want to show it. Yeah, that was, that was actually the problem at Home Story Cup because they were yeah. ready to do first person, but um, it was only possible at 60 hertz. So I actually talked with Dennis and he just uh, skipped the first person view. So anyone yeah, that yeah. Didn't, didn't see their first person view, that's probably my fault. But it was much better for the players because it would have also only been those four PCs that would have needed 60 oh, yeah. hertz. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's your fault. Like you have every right to when I play at like high hertz, right? Yeah. I think it's just that the hardware that you need to show 144 hertz to a full production and stuff is like ultra expensive. Like it's yeah. really, really expensive. Anyway, we got Steam Pack on the way here from Funka. Vi first Viking on the way. A little bit of a pulled Viking here to go and chase for some overlords. Mm -hmm. Which are going to be fast ones. Actually, that first one around the expo almost dies. Nope, yeah, makes it to safety. It's, it's going to die though against the Viking, right? Yeah. And uh, actually, uh, oh, Yogo already got the info. There is no tech lab on the starport, so not going to be any kind of Banshee here coming out. Mm -hmm. what, did he, what did he lose? A Reaper. Oh. Okay, probably once the speed finished, the Reaper was caught off guard. But yeah, so far, very standard openings. And usually this is around the time where you stop Hellion production and then you start a third command center. But so far, every time we've seen Fanka play, he opted to go for the barracks for the additional production before the third uh, command center. So I wonder if uh, he will continue with this trend. It's actually making a Liberator now too. Which is a nice combination, you know, after with the Viking you clear out the Overlords in one path and then you use this path to go with the Liberator unseen. Yeah, the Baning Nest here, well, do you think that's because he realized already that it was Bio and he doesn't want to... Like, it feels like he could get it later, no? Uh, I think it's for uh, timing that is 
one Viking and then it's a Marauder Hellbat Odin afterwards. Yeah. Because it looks the same as what uh, he just scouted. So every time I play against a Viking first, because you're kind of in the blind afterwards, and you see the tech lab on the barracks, I would also actually go for this uh, early baiting nest. So I think there was just covering his, uh, his options. This is going to be the easiest cleanup I've ever seen, really. Oh, that was sad. I really don't... I wonder what he was looking at, because he... The supply, he maybe. He wasn't looking at it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's not supply block, so it could be. Yeah. He was admiring his uh, macro capability. Oh my god, that, that's the saddest liberator as well. Not quite the start uh, I think Funka would have hoped for here. Yeah. And this uh, will already be a confidence booster for Yoga. This is like the perfect opening you can have. Oh my god, even the wall is open and the links are getting in, but... They shouldn't get too much other than the two marines. Yeah, it wasn't many links. Oh, did he forget uh, plus one armor? Yeah, he only started plus one attack here, Funka. Oh, okay. I actually thought he only went for one eBay because... Oh, no, now he fixed it. Okay. So it's a little bit late, but not the end of the world, I guess. Mm -hmm. What do you Google's... what do you think about the tile set of this map? Like the wood in the middle? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't like this map. I find that... Really? Yeah, I, I'm not a fan. I'm not talking balance, like I'm talking like design. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. I, I really don't like the design, but mainly what really makes me hate maps is you see the main base, it's right next to the edge, right? So I can't properly center it, which means if I do my injects with the screen hotkeys, I can't... Uh, like, it's not exactly in the center, which is always triggering me. Oh, yeah. Have you ever but given uh, feedback about this? Yeah, yeah, to Blizzard, but I mean, it just happens on some maps, I don't know. Yeah. I didn't even know about this. You know, like, I'm one of the few people that, like, never really managed to add the camera hotkey. Mm. And, like, start using them, and I feel like that held me back so much. I don't know why, like, it was one of those things where, like, I, it was just, I couldn't get used to it. I knew it would be better if I did, but it's just so hard. Yeah, they're very important. But, uh, I mean, even to another degree for Zerg, because we use them for injects usually. And, yeah. You know, there's there's much more you need to, where what you need to switch do all the Zergs use the exact same way to inject really fast across all hatcheries? I think I think all the good pros do, yeah. So like these pros that are not as good as the good pros that that use a different style. Like every programmer that I ask, I think uses this inject. What what is it exactly? Can you describe? Piece. So it's you you swap in between your camera locations. Um, you basically press F1. Either you select the queen or you have them pre hotkeyed and then inject F2. Inject, F3, inject, F4, inject. Right, so if you don't have the queen hotkey, you have to do F1, selection yeah. area on queen, yeah. inject. Oh, okay, so it's still, yeah, okay, I see. So I thought there was a more effective way than this to do it. Yeah, but that's basically the same just with hotkeying them before. Um, well, nice cleanup, by the way, by Yogo. He's in a very good spot now. But yeah, it's, it's, it's still very, very quick. And the only different hotkey method really is where you have the base camera hotkeys, but but you swap to bases where either there's Ooh. no queen or... Nice catch by Funka actually. I'll just spinning that one off him, but I think he's gonna be caught this time, oh my god. Uh, yeah, Durgo just has way more units than Funka right here. This is based off the early game obviously, and I think was... we can also see that those two are on a bit of a different level. Like, this might even just be like 400 difference in MMR or 500 maybe. But if the early game goes well, you can see what what this uh, leads into. That's actually a lot of mutas, and I like that it doesn't overextend. Just pulls back. Like, you know what? I've got a lot of bases running. I've done the damage I wanted to do. That refinery is actually burning on the natural Funka. <laughs> Yeah, Funka is just holding on. Funka is actually ahead in upgrades. If I if I do the caster thing, and say what he has going for him, but I, I don't know if that's gonna be gonna be in time. We call it the magic show, because you're trying to make people believe something that somebody could still win a game. <laughs> it's a magic show. No, that's really impressive. Actually, I can't do that. I'm, I'm just calling it how I see it. I know it's good. In this case, Yogo with double the supply now. Gonna be taking out. Oh my god. <laughs> the Christmas Baneling package! We got a bundle of Caster's portrait. He's got a bundle of Baneling's morphing here. 
Just a casual 35 bailing morphing. Didn't even use his entire bank. Yeah, I like that there's a, a bunker. And uh, like randomly at the natural in the mid game. Just trying to hold on somehow. Where are they the going? Yeah, I don't know. Alright, GG. Yogo takes the first map win.